We have Asia Pacific Cultural Center, Taste of Asia, presenting Japan on the couch here, is the beautiful June Seki Gucci. And of course, we've been talking to Chef Masa over there, who's um, going to be making us some yummy um, Japanese food. So, June, let's talk about this theme for the next month. What is the theme and why did you choose that theme? Well, so for the first time in many, many years, we are able to celebrate Japan. Tacoma doesn't have that big of a Japanese American community since World War II. The mm -hmm. Japanese community just kind of were incarcerated and then, uh, you know, didn't come back. Right. So I'm trying to build up the presence, uh, you know, with just cultural programming. So we're doing Taste of Asia. Yes. And uh, we're with poster. Masahiro Sugano, who's doing the uh, chefing for this, making temaki sushi. So he's going to show you how to make the, uh, the sushi, a hand-rolled sushi. We'll also have a uh, pork and vegetable soup called Ooh. tonjiru. And then his daughter is making a dongle, uh, dongle rice ball dessert with a sweet glaze. Oh my yes. God. Okay, I, I haven't had breakfast and I am hungry. So last question for you, Miss June over there on the couch. Should we dress for the part when we Please. come? Please. Okay. All right, you heard it first here. Yes. Hello, Hello, Masa. How are you? I am well, thank you. What are we making? We are making a temaki sushi now. It's known as a hand roll sushi. And it's quite easy to do. All you need is rice and these seaweed that you just Ooh. cut in half. These are usually sold in a square shape. Yes. And you can get them anywhere in those larger Asian stores that you can find in South Tacoma Way mm -hmm. or um, Lincoln Square. Okay. Yes, and then you just cook the rice and mix it with some sushi material and then here you go. And you can include any of these Ooh. kinds of ingredients and you can even get experimental, maybe put some cheese in it. Oh, it's up cheese. To you. Cheese and Japanese food. Mm, I can hear, I can just hear it now. The culinary world is rolling over. Tell us, point to some ingredients and tell us what they are for people who aren't familiar with um, delicious food that looks like this. Okay, so first, this one is called spicy tuna. It's okay. very similar to poke. Yeah. But we add those sriracha sauce and sesame oil and a little bit of mayo. And you just mix it up. Sometimes we put in a little bit of the uh, sesame seeds. And kewpie, right? Kewpie we use, but you can use any kind any of mayo. Any kind of mayo. Like. Oh, okay. you can skip I love out. that. Okay. But if you want to get more American, you can put some other things, such as Miracle ketchup whip. if you like. <laughs> <laughs> but it depends. This is a family food, so it's not very strict as to Good. how it needs to be prepared. So get the kids involved. Exactly. That's the fun of it because it's so easy to do. All you have to do is grab this little bit seaweed. Of seaweed. And then you oh. roll, uh, scoop up some of the rice and you apply it on this side of the seaweed. So it's a little bit, so it's only half. And then you put some ingredients here. Now tell them what these are. Okay, this is called uh, a radish sprout, kaiware. Yes. So it's very good, it cleanses your palate. It's a little bit like wasabi, but not as strong. Yeah, I had yeah. one before the show started and these are delicious. I mean, I just want like a whole handful, a little bit of a pepper hit back there, like you said, wasabi. Yes, indeed. Yeah. It helps cleanse your palate. And then we've got, of course, shrimp. This is shrimp, yes. And it's prepared very carefully. First, they skewer the whole shrimp before cooking okay. to straight shape. And then they boil it. Oh. Then they open it up and divine it. That's why it's so straight. Otherwise, it will come out curled. I was wondering, I'm like, how did they get that? Did they, did they do a press? What did they do to get that so flat? Yes, now so we they know. have to skewer it before yes. they cook. Yes. Now, this looks like... Chewing gum, but it's not. It is not. Actually, this is our very favorite egg, chicken egg. Oh. This is omelet. But we oh, it cook smells. it in very shallow layers and we roll it over and over and over again so you don't see the layers. Oh my gosh. Yes, and it's usually flavored with a little bit of sweetness. Yes, it is. I yeah. love that one. That's the one I eat last when I'm having all of this several times a week. Good idea. Yes. yes indeed. Okay, and this, of course, cucumber. This is cucumber here, yes. Uh, it's usually shredded in a very skinny, longer shape. Okay. Uh, this is done in a very family style, so anybody can uh, practice and do this at home. Professional sushi chefs actually chop the cucumber in a small tube 
and they peel off like this yes. as a very thin layer, like paper. Yes. But I don't recommend that at home. Don't do it at home. Just do it this style if you were going to try it at home. Right. This is the safer way. Otherwise, you'll be cutting the cucumber like this, which That's I right. don't want you to try it at home. No, because then that turns into a different family emergency. Yes. Indeed. Yes, it does. Absolutely. And then, of course, these carrots. Okay. This... Tell me there's a machine that does this. I think this was, uh, this was shredded with the uh, wow. household uh, carrot shredding thing. Okay. But once again, professionals do this by slicing it off on your hand into okay. very thin feet of carrot and then chop it up. It usually runs through water for like a couple hours to get rid of a little of, of the kick that the carrots have. Yes. So by the time you serve it, it's quite smooth. Oh, it does. But this is just shredded and served, and it's quite fine. This is a home style, and I this love is how this. you can enjoy a lot of different kinds of ingredients. Okay, so this is the one I'm sure that we you probably get the most. Are you sure I can eat that? Tell us what that is. Yes, this is hard to tell. Probably this is fish roll, which yes. is the baby fish eggs. And you can, uh, it's quite a tasty thing. It it's is. Like cavi it's basically caviar. It's there Japanese caviar, exactly. isn't it? Exactly. It's caught in the, uh, it's uh, fish roll uh, from cod, I think this one is. And you just apply it on the rice and then mix it with other ingredients and they mix quite well. They do, absolutely. Yes, indeed. And it adds a little more texture to it. Absolutely, yeah. yes. Okay, so let's talk about substitutions here. So yes. if I am somebody who does not eat anything but a plant base. Mm -hmm. What else would I see on here? So I would say carrots and the, uh, there's, I forgot to bring it up to the table here, but there's a very good um, pickle, radish pickle. Oh yes. It's usually uh, in yellow color. Very easy to find them at any of those larger Asian stores you find. And you just slice them up, make them cut, cut them long like these, and yes. you can put it in the middle of that rice, roll it up and then here you go. There it's very go. easy to cater to each person's need. Yes. Some people have allergy to seafood, so you might as well put some chicken That's shreds, right. and it's not a big deal. Let's talk about tofu. Yes, tofu is a very good alternative. Okay, so as tell well. us about how we add tofu, because I know a lot of family members are just raised on tofu, and they got to have it. Tofu is great. The only thing is that uh, there are two kinds. Silken is very soft, so mm -hmm. you want to go for the firm one. Okay. Sometimes you can also, in those Asian stores, you can find the uh, fried ones that's a little hard on the surface, yes. so it's much easier to slice, like steak. Okay. So I recommend using the uh, fried ones that okay. has like brown surface on it. And if you want to go to the white tofu, just choose the firm one. All right. Otherwise, it will go all over the place. Yeah. yeah, not what we're looking for. Finally, I think some of our viewers may be surprised to hear this. What is the most sacred ingredient on this table? I would say it's the rice. Yes! Always. It is the rice. Tell them why. Well, it is the basis of what makes sushi sushi. Otherwise, yeah. it's called sashimi. Okay. And then uh, rice, it takes a long time to actually learn how to make this properly. A lot of trainees in Japan, apprentices, they are set to spend one year learning how, just how to cook rice. Yes. And there's a difference in it. Like you, when you know that kind of difference, uh -huh. uh, you can expand and then, you know, ha have very distinguished taste for the rest of the thing. It's like learning how to burn, uh, cook baguette in French. Yes. Cooking. Yes. It's Absolutely. Yes. Yes. There is a beautiful documentary that I know that you know of, of um, Shiro Dreams of Sushi. Yes. And when you talk about the sacredness of rice, mm -hmm. the, the, in, the apprentices um, that come in there, they cull the rice for seven years sometimes <laughs> because they have to have it just, <laughs> Not just right. Yeah. yeah I mean, they, a little too much. A little too much, yeah. yeah. But, but that's how important the rice is. It is, is. indeed, yeah. yeah. But once you commit to the basics so much, the rest you can learn very well. I love this. Yes, All that's right. always the philosophy. Okay, so can I have a bite? Oh, yes, absolutely. So I have made a few pieces here. It's a good Ooh. mix of uh, these are the shrimps mixed with the spicy tuna and okay. kaiware. So you just grab okay. uh, whichever you because might like. Because I, I, I can hear them saying, you, you need to go in there and... Uh, Get a bite of something. Yes, okay. indeed. Let's hope that I there just don't go. make a mess. Okay. It's okay. You I'll have to have you. a bite too. <laughs> I, I am not. I'm a server right You're now. You're the so server. I'm gonna okay. It to you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh my. Mm. Oh. And then always soy sauce will add a little more flavor. So I'm gonna just give it to you on the, your hand. And here's a napkin, just in case it gets messy. All right. All right. Bon appetit. Bon appetit. When we come back. Um, 
We will have more guests on the comfy couch and I will be making sure I finish this. We'll be right back. Don't go away.